I am Late to the Gamer, and today I'm going to be talking about a change that Outriders may need to actually keep its post game up to date. And it may not work for Outriders 1, it might be too late for that, but Outriders 2 could be on the horizon. Well, since the launch of Outriders, there's been one sad truth. Updates, patches, and DLC attract tons of players, but then just as quickly, those players take their copy, put it away, and move on to something else. This isn't uncommon, but did you know that right now at this moment, 35,000 people are playing Elden Ring five months after its launch? while 3,500 people are playing Outriders after World Slayer's release. Not a fair comparison? Okay. Borderlands 3 has 4,200 active players, and it's two years older than Outriders, and its last DLC was about a year ago. Now, as much as it pains me to say this, Outriders may need to actually take some notes from a game I hate. Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. That name is a mouthful, and the game seemed to actively go out of its way to make me dislike it enough that I played through the entire game, recorded footage, and then chucked that into my desktop recycle bin. SOP, because I refuse to say that name again, is like the bastard inbred cousin of Outriders. You can play with two friends using your skills to take on monsters in a fixed dungeon. There's a couple of differences though, such as a dungeon having an unlocking mechanism, causing backtracking. Each area is unique, but every room looks so similar that I've been lost so many times because I didn't realize some purple switch I hit opened a door in a completely different area of the map that I walked right by because it looks the f***ing same. While Outriders had good cutscenes, SOP looked like a PS3 launch game. When it came down to character customization, they handled gear like Every level you gained, you tossed out your old gear to the streets because stats didn't matter. Only gear level. You can have strength for 144 in your gear, but if you take that into a dungeon two levels higher than yours, it might as well be an apron. Outriders rightfully let you upgrade your gear, but the grind in doing so makes people say, this come out. The rest of us, masochists, continue playing and grinding out the same couple activities to get the items we need to level up. And frankly, it's draining. The one thing Stranger of Paradise does that Outriders needs to emulate is how it deals with its post game. They're both square games. Somebody passed a cheat sheet to People Can Fly. Every stage in SOP has targeted loot. Every one of them. Well, SOP's post game, Nightmare Mode, takes advantage of that fact. Every stage in the game can be replayed at a higher difficulty, going all the way up to 300. The targeted loot changes to higher value loot in return. As you work your way through nightmare mode, better gear modifications become available. You can change what three stat modifiers are on your gear, and you earn tokens that let you change stats that you couldn't before, similar to the ascension tree in Outriders. As you get closer to 300, the enemies add new abilities, the mobs change, and the loot just becomes more and more valuable. But most importantly, you can target what the f you want when you want to farm tired of a particular stage you're grinding just move on to something else the bosses get faster have higher immunities have quicker reactions and it takes the part of the game that i hated the stupid way they went about the story and makes it a challenge mode there are even stages that are only boss fights this is what outriders need when you get over apocalypse level 20 the story mode missions need a challenge mode the side missions the hunts the bounties everything make it exponentially more difficult and add more dangerous mobs Mobs, throw in some elites or sub bosses where we're not expecting it and give us targeted loot make stages unavailable until we hit a milestone at 25 30 and 35 so we can use five or six different locations outside of the trials of taiko with tt to grind those milestones it could start with eight stages having specific targeted loot so you can build sets that will raise your level the trials can still be a complete crapshoot limited to your level and the available gear this way as you complete a stage that loot goes into the trials pool the initial stages will reward legendary gear but only purple apocalypse gear at 25 legendary gear can drop as apocalypse and at 30 and above all gear drops as apocalypse expeditions can be used to farm drop pod resources and reward regular gear for the shards making expeditions a necessary part of the grinding instead of an afterthought activity you only go to to farm drop pod resources but all this is just something i've been mulling around in my head the last few days let me know what you think in the comments below i like conversating with you guys even the ones that think my ideas are complete I try to see things objectively. I'm just some guy on YouTube with a pale cartoon face. Anyway, this is Late to the Gamer signing off. Hit like, subscribe, and that bell. It helps me grow. Have a great day.